Hey there, it's Buck at Bacon Trees. And I put together um, a map of a soundtrack. The basic concept or the basic flow of the soundtrack from start to finish over time. I've got it on my phone here and I've, I've, I've also made a, a document which I'll put up on the screen now. And as you can see, the top level of the soundtrack with the transient effects should reach no more than, let's say, minus two decibels relative to full scale. So zero decibels full scale. Nothing can go over zero. It must land somewhere under that. Uh, but the maximum, if you do want to make your peaks at, at minus two or, or up toward zero dB, minus two should be about, you know, the loudest you go. So the rule of transients is that um, the shorter it lasts, the louder it can be. So if your transient is slightly longer, you might want to peak it out at minus 5, or sometimes, depending on the sound, even minus 10. Uh, and as you can see on the scale, you see that uh, I've got decibels sound pressure level also included in comparison with the relative 0 dBFS. So we've got two scales going on here at the same time, sound pressure level and full scale. Full scale, as you know, is digital, and SPL is acoustic for the real world. As you see, the dialogue is um, average of minus 27 dB, depending on how much you compress, depending on how much you volume automate, uh, what type of EQ you have. The averages should be close to minus 30. They should be between minus 25 and 30 for your dialogue. And sometimes a little louder if you want to get like a, you know, an effect of an evil person or something like that, you might make their dialogue even louder. But I'm talking about average signals should sit somewhere between minus 25 and minus 30 dB. Preferably closer to minus 30 to allow for more dynamics, but not get too dynamic in the signal. And then, of course, under that, you see at the bottom of the, uh, the uh, effects, you have your Foley slash ambience. The Foley will be somewhere under dialogue. Uh, depending on the scene, of course, but if somebody's walking and talking, you don't want their footsteps louder than they're talking, so you want to bring it down a bit. The Foley transients will cut through the mix, depending on how they're EQ'd, right? Uh, and even if you're a little off by a couple of dB, I don't think it's going to ruin the movie or anything, but you definitely need your dialogue to be heard, and you need your loudest sound effect to be established. The music, well, that's kind of mixed to taste, as I said before. Music should duck under dialogue, um, and at some points during like loud action scenes, the music can be louder. So that's kind of up to you how you want to mix the music, but you have to establish loudest sound effect and you have to establish dialogue. Ambience and Foley sound effects somewhere under dialogue, not competing with it at all, Probably not competing with it too much. And then your music, you kind of mix to taste, to how you feel the music should be mixed. If you mix, the, like music is an average signal, so if you mix music way too loud, it's going to cover everything, obviously. Now, if you're mixing the music, and of course it's not going to be as loud as the transient sound effects, very important, the transients, the short-lived sound effects, music is an average signal, so music is generally going to be lower. If you mix your sound effects and your music, and it gets muddy sounding because the music is very low frequency dominated and the sound effects are low frequency dominated, then you're going to have to equalize something. Maybe take a little bit of lows out of the music or a little bit of low frequencies out of the sound effects. Same with the high frequencies. So you're always aware with this basic map, it's just a very basic starting point. You have to be aware of frequency masking, meaning don't cover over important speech frequencies. Um, don't, you know, mask this heavy heavy sound effects with heavy heavy bass driven music and don't ruin the music with the sound effects when you could take some low frequencies maybe out of certain sound effects to allow the music to feel more so you're dealing a lot basically here with level and eq but that map is a pretty much a template over time versus level to get you started on sound design so keep this map in mind or template in mind I call it a map because it's going from one direction to another, but keep that in mind when you mix your next project, okay? So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and I look forward to making more videos. All right, have a great day.